All right, so in this problem, we want to evaluate the expression, and we are given the value for b. So this, if this is our expression, let's plug in the value for b and solve. So we first have a fraction. We have 1 divided by radical, and instead of b, I'm going to be writing in 12 minus 3, plus another fraction, 1 divided by radical 12 minus 8. All right, so now let's start simplifying. We have 1 divided by radical 12 minus 3, which is 9, plus 1 divided by radical 12 minus 8, which is 4. All right, now we have a note here that says to refer to only the positive solutions of the radical. Now we know that in a radical, in a regular radical, if we had a regular radical 9, we know that it has two solutions. It could be a negative 3 or a positive 3, but they only want us to refer to the positive solutions of the radical. All right. So now that we know this, let's simplify this radical. We have 1 divided by 3 and 1 divided by 2. Now in order to add these two fractions together, we have to have a common denominator. And our common denominator will be 6. That means that we'll multiply this fraction by 2 and we'll multiply this fraction by 3. All right. So if we do so, we have 2 divided by 6 plus 3 divided by 6. All right, so now that we have a common denominator, we can add these two fractions together, and we have 2 plus 3, which gives us 5, divided by 6. So 5 over 6 will be the answer to this equation, this expression, and that corresponds with answer D. Therefore, it will be our final answer.